Ah. How you going, you big bloody beautiful bastards? Here's me face. 2019 is coming to a close, which means it's time to do a recap and a review of the planet and a thorough audit of the inhabitants. Humans, robots, animals, aliens. So yeah, nah, in no particular order, here is WTF happened in 2019. New Year's Day started with a bang. Yeah, this video set the tone for the entire year. It was a glorious mess. A picture of an egg became the most liked photo ever on Instagram. As of right now, there's 53 million likes on the delicious egg. The little bastard has been on tons of adventures since finding fame, but it remains down to earth and it's not afraid to show everyone its cracks. There's a black hole. People got excited about that for a day or two. We also got excited over robots doing handstands, somersaults, and crazy good fucking dance moves. It's hard to beat a Mexican grandma cooking show though. I mean, this content really activated a massive internet stiffy. Sure, we all enjoyed going to the cinema and helping Avengers Endgame make over two billion dollary dues, but we all know there's pure joy in the simple shit as well. You're breathtaking. Google Earth captured a bloke falling down the stairs. Oi, nah, it's not funny. It's embarrassing and painful. Don't laugh at him. Let's see if he's okay from a different angle. <laughs> Don't laugh, he's fucked. Get ready to see a whale doing awesome whale things. It's big, it's in slow mo. I reckon it's gonna make a decent splash once it hits the water. Here we go! Yeah! That's what I signed up to 2019 for. Fuck yes, whale. Fuck yes, mate. There's Sonic in one of the most disliked movie trailers ever. Unpopular opinion. What if I told you I like his teeth? It's a great set of chompers. Yeah, now nah, Paramount actually went back to the drawing board and redid the animation. Not long after that, Jon Snow even apologised for season 8 of Game of Thrones. I'm sorry we wrote this in like six days or something. Now, let's burn the script of season 8. Okay, this one's fake. No one's redoing jack shit here. If you think the butchering of your favourite movies and TV shows is bad, just remember you could be this guy! I'd argue this was the most traumatising event of 2019. I know, I get it, we're racing towards extinction, there's kangaroos in snow and koalas in flames, but that's like one, two, three, four, five, six beers that plummet to their death, and this bloke has to clean it up. It's as much of a disaster as Chernobyl, a great show released this year, by the way. Here's a fucked up rescue mission. This happened six months ago. I'd say the Sheila getting rescued would still be dizzy to this day. Road rage in Canada was nuts. Look at this. This is so politely aggressive. You can hear him mumble sorry as he walks back. The credit card challenge kind of took off, but not really. Most wankers just hurt their faces. Oh, this one was impressive. He did indeed catch the card. Nice try, man. <laughs> you never said which head. Wait for it. Yeah, there it is. Locked in. Give him all the money. He is the OG of this challenge. The bottle cap thing I took off, this one caught on big time. I'm still waiting for bloody Jackie Chan to do it though. He's not responded to us. We need to call him out again, everyone. TikTok showed us you can fix damaged tables with noodles. This is my jam. I'm not a very good fixer-upper, dickhead. However, with this tutorial, I reckon I could become an elite fixer-upper, dickhead. Of of course, you have to try not to eat the noodles before the job is finished. If you can achieve that, then yeah, it ends up looking pretty good. It's basically brand new. Maybe the ozone layer can be fixed with noodles. In regards to social media celebrity news, there were loads of big moments. Jimbo Charles got in a fight with his mum. She was like, he's a naughty boy. I'll tell you all of the naughty things he does. Then he replied, guys, Tatty isn't my fucking mum. But yeah, I've done a lot of naughty things, mainly at Burning Man Festival. Everyone else was like, oh, unsubbing. KSI and Logan Paul punched each other in the dick and face again this year. It wasn't broadcast on YouTube Live this time, so no one knows what type of celebrity they are. Are they regular celebrities? Are they social media internet celebrities? Are they both? Can you be both? Are they real boxers? Is Logan gonna join UFC? Nobody knows. There's a lot of confusion about us social media wankers out there. T-Series in India was the first channel to get to 100 million subscribers. 
PewDiePie was like, oh, whatever, I'll get there in my own time anyway. For now, I have a sword in the background of my video. And a guy with a sword doesn't give a shit about superficial numbers. Mr. Beast did lots of classic Mr. Beast activities. He even became a gardener. He's like, you don't have to be in your 50s to become passionate about your front lawn. Go out and start a garden. I'll buy you an Xbox. Ninja interviewed himself about what it's like to get a huge sum of money from Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm being a cheeky bastard. But yeah, nah, there's been lots of top-notch content online this year. Some of my favourite videos have been that Glitter Bomb vs Package Thieves by Mark Rober. Gus Johnson always brings a smile to me down under dial. I met loads of legends at Melbourne VidCon back in September when I went there and attended and was on conferences and shit. Like that Georgia Productions, she's a legend. Try Guys, I was on stage with them. Yeah, them Fairbarn Films boys are good, eh? Jimmy Jackson over in New Zealand. Juice Media makes the best political satire. And then somehow I ended up in cars a lot this year with fucking peers. Supercar Blondie kidnapped me in a Lamborghini. Isaac Butterfield kidnapped me with my own Honda. And high five to Jablinski Games. I reckon my interview with Jack Black definitely counts as a collab. It counts. It's canon. Nah, it is. But yeah, if you avoid all the manipulative drama and deceptive greed that we partake in, you'll find all the gold. You'll find it. Anyway, where were we before that bloody tangent? Oh yeah, who the hell fly kicks Arnie? That is a terrible idea. A billionaire pedo apparently committed suicide while held in custody. His mates develop memory loss. Here's another famous egg. Protesters in Hong Kong have asked a lot of confronting questions. Hashtag trash tag better continue into 2020. Volcanoes are a massive pain in the ass. Politicians pretend to like beer to relate to us. Guns, terror, knives, more terror, bombs, terror, 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 fire, Sheila's murdered in parks, controversial advertising, a growing up leader angry at a teenager, more fire, more murdered Sheila's, bloody measles, another leader that fucks off on holiday during all the fire, oi, supreme leader, can you turn the internet back on? Um, yeah, once we're done scraping bodies off the street. <laughs> Welcome back, these kittens are stuck in a nah fuck you, nah fuck you, nah fuck you deadlock. The ginger cat is munching on a tail back there, sneaky bastard. Meanwhile, these two are like, get your paws out of my face, you get your paws out of my face. I'm supposed to have my paws in your face, it was in the script. Fuck it, we're going off script, I'm the winner, yeah nah, I win, get out of here mate. What happened in India this year? Oh, not much, just tigers chasing people on motorbikes, bugger that. This wins the most wholesome video of the year. There was lots of wholesome stuff, but no, no, don't argue. This one is the winner. That's what I was wondering. I don't know what they're going to do next season because they did some stuff this time. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It remains hard to tell if the Cybertruck looks good. Is it behind the times? Is it ahead of the times? No matter how much time passes, it's hard to tell. There's the best footage and pretty much the only footage from the highly anticipated Facebook event to raid Area 51. I think I prefer this to horse racing. I've had a lot of time to think about it and I have concluded that it's better than the Melbourne Cup. These chihuahuas have seen Caitlin Ohashi's gymnastics videos and they're like, hey, we can do flippy spinny shit as well. Can we go viral, please? This tall kid wins legend of the year for helping his teammates score in basketball. He's like, we can do it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nailed it. He's too excited to high five anyone. That is a brilliant victory dance from the young fella. Overall, dolphins are forming really big gangs. Cats continue to be dodgy. I don't see any year going by where they're not dodgy. It knows this Sheila is trying to sleep. It's like, what, I didn't do anything. But are you getting up soon? And shout out to the couple in Scotland who didn't give a shit when a drunk guy had to sleep in their house after a party. You made me walk up and I was a part of the dust. I must have been myself. Honestly, thank you very much for being so understanding. 
Yeah, it's hard to say if 2019 was good or bad or somewhere in between. I call it a glorious mess. It's different for everybody, so let's just end this video on a few blokes having a silent disco in their backyard. <laughs>